Hello guys, welcome to Ashley Lance Nut Show. I am going to be letting you guys know what anime has been continued from several seasons, from last season to now, and what's going on. Probably I'll give you a little brief description of them on Crunchyroll. I'll put a link down at the bottom below for you guys if you're interested. Some of them I have not watched, some of them does not really appeal to me. But these are the ones that are still continuing on to the spring one. I'm just letting you guys know. Uh, one in, uh, one is, let's see here, is Black Clover. Uh, I did a review on that for last season. Uh, Black Clover is basically a, a, a brothers uh, that were orphans and left, and one has ma magical power, one does not. One has a, a, a three-leaf, there's a four-leaf clover that is like the, the light and everything else, and the five-leaf is anti-magic, that's the one with no magic. Uh, uh, a person has. Uh, they these has very good action, very good stories. Just the voice acting of the guys are very high pitch and very really annoying. But if you like medieval magic fight, uh, Black Clover is probably good for you. Uh, it is still going going. It's on twenty nine right now. I stopped till fifteen because I have to catch up on a lot of anime. Just to let you know. So the link will be down below if you guys are interested for that. The other one is Bruto. I've been actually catching up on Bruto. They're right now, it's episode 55, they're actually going from the Bruto to movie uh, right now. That the Bruto in the movie, then they should move on to the, towards more towards manga. And I read up pretty much up to date with the manga as well. They could be down for that as well. Um, another one is Car Capture Sakura Clear Car. Uh, it is on 15 right now. Uh, it's basically a new type of magical cards that's basically has been come came out and they're trying to figure out and there's new types of a spirit card uh, some of these spirits are very weird some of them actually record pictures and stuff like that and uh, one is like a cube uh, protection cube like a gelatinous cube if you play D&D &D. it's kind of like that but it's not as good as the previous generation of Sakura Capture Sakura, but it is okay for what they're trying to tend to revive the series as well. I wish they do less of the lovey dovey between uh, uh, of the of the Car Capture Sakura series and more towards the point of it. But it's just pretty much going to be ongoing and try to stretch it out. That's in my opinion, uh, letting you guys know. Other one is closed case. I know about this. I know they. Uh, it's been continuing on for a while. Uh, my friend read the manga. I'm gonna read you guys about this. Uh, let's see here about the show. The son of the world famed mystery writer Shin Shichi Kudo, so if I'm butchering that name, has achieved his own uh, notoriety by assisting the local police as a student detective. He has always been able to solve the most difficult of crimes case using his wits and power of reason less. I know it's like kind of like Sherlock Holmes, but the Japanese child version of it. There's one that he becomes an adult and some of the older series back and forth. And um, yeah, that's basically what it is. If you like detective and mysteries and stuff like that, it can be down the bottom for you guys as well. That is close, uh, case closed. Another one is Darling of the Fricks. Uh, it's actually a very good anime. Um, very itchy. And um, basically you have um, 001, I believe that's what her name is. Uh, that is a, a parasite. It's like a, think of it as a Evangelion of it. But you have a female that basically is a parasite that goes, um, how do you do this? How do you say this? Like, 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 it's compatible with the machine. Like, so she has, she's like the actual machine, the controller of it, and the little handle comes out from her butt, and they're like, and you use that to control <laughs> the robot. So it's a two person to control one robot, and it's very itchy. Just letting you guys know. Uh, you, and there's a lot of little uh, uh, fan art all around that looks really gorgeous and uh, lovely as well. Another one is. It is Future Card Buddy Fight. I have no idea what this is. Did not really appeal to me. Looks like more of a childish anime. It's on 55 right now. Um, it is, it's, a, it's, it's in the year 2030 and the stage is in the capital of Japan, Chuo, Chuo Tokyo, through buddy fights. Humans have started cultural interaction with residents from other worlds 
called Infinity Dimensions. Buddy Fight is a game which selected human as a buddy fighter and resident from the other world as a partner known as Buddy Monster. These battles have high uh, significance and sometimes it is even used to decide the fate of a nation. Naturally, there are two who seek to use the Buddy uh, Monster for evil purposes. So, uh, it sounds kind of like um, Bakugan. Or Monster X uh, Hunter X Hunter sounds like it, uh, but never really appealed to me. I might look into it if you guys really want. Um, link will be down below for that anime if you're, if you're interested as well. Uh, the other one is is Haku Hoshin Ingi. Uh, it's on episode 15 right now. Don't know anything about this as well. A once thrived kingdom and now governed by an evil hermit. Daki and her party is, is in a chaotic status where this people suffered Daki's oppressions. Seeing this, the Herman band uh, took it seriously and planned a Hoshin plan, which is assigned to an apprentice Herman, Daki Bo, who gathered partners, captured and sealed all evil Hermits, and planned to establish a new kingdom. On the other hand, the strongest and in royal Hermit, Ban Chu, stood up against Jacob, Jacobo, uh, to protect the old kingdom with all his might. Thus a death battle among invisible hermits begins. Okay, so they're like hermits with magical power or skills. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing. It looks interesting. I'm actually might look into it because I saw a girl with big boobs. So I might actually look into this. Uh, this could should be down the bottom for you guys if you want to know more about it. Uh, the other one is... Hitori no Shita, the outcast. It feels like um, something An Ashi will like. It looks like in the Edo period, in, in my opinion. Um, the protagonist Cho Shoran leads a very common costume in his life until he finds himself caught up in a terrible act incident that happens in a small village as he was walking through a graveyard. Cho Shoran is assaulted by zombies, thinking that it was over for him. A mysterious girl carrier of sorts only saves him and disappears. This strange encounter is going to be less uh, that drastically the fate of our hero. Sounds like Shaman King. Looks like more like Shaman King. Uh, I think it might be interested in watching this. I will be not watching this. Is Idol Ish 7? Uh, it's a boy band. Ashley kind of thing. Um. Yeah, I'm not going to watch this. Uh, as a group of aspiring idols gather at ta, uh, Takan, uh, t Takanashi production and are entrusted with the company's future, the seven men who, just, uh, who have just met represent a variety of total different personality. However, they each have their own charm possess unknown potential as idols. Forming a group, they take the first step together as Aidashi Seven. They're... Brilliantly shining dancing from on stage eventually began captivating the hearts of the people in a glorious but sudden harsh world of idols. They aim to for the top with dreams in their hearts. Basically like American Idol, but in anime form with all guys. So yeah, there you go. We we'll link now for you guys for that if you guys if you're really interested in it. Uh, this was actually kinda of interesting, it was very slow for me. Uh it's still continuing. It's called Katana Maiden. Um it's basically you have these different class of maidens. Uh, there's a katana maiden that's basically like a shogun style uh, um, for for females, and they take class in to protect the uh, the the one. And basically, one just literally um, went out, went off. And I think I should just read this. It would be a lot easier. It exercises the monsters and everything. It's pretty good. It's just very slow in the beginning. Just letting you guys know. Um, since ages time, the uh, Kanagagi priestesses have used their swords or ota o katana to exercise the creature known as Aratama that brought chaos upon the world of man. Those maidens were known as Tojis. A special task force with the police allowed to their Okatana on their person because they are uh, government officials, but they mostly consist of schoolgirls who go to one of five training schools that this spring the top tojis from five schools across the country have begun for a customary tournament where they will s use their abilities and fight for the top position. So it's pretty good. It's just slow. A lot of pretty girls too, but just slow. Just letting you guys know about that. 
Uh, let's see here, what else is out? Uh, Heroes Academy Season 3, just letting you guys know, I'm going to review on that. I love uh, Heroes Academy, uh, but it's kind of a continuation, but they go by seasons. Um, I'm just going by the ongoing one, just never stopped. Uh, let's see here, that is not ongoing. One Piece is ongoing. They're an episode, I don't know. Uh, let me see what episode they are in. 834. I do not know why people like One Piece after the, but like the first two seasons that One Piece was great. After that, it was just crap. I know that Robin and Nami looks very hot. And also, I forgot that other girl, Boa Hancock, um, uh, Loveheart. Uh, it just, it, the, the anime just turned to shit. They should just end it and just, just never watch again. I know those people just die hard One Piece. It just went to shit, in my opinion. I don't think I have to explain this as much as a, a boy named Luffy with the crew. It wants to become the, the 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 top pirate king of the world, and basically it's just it was good for the first two seasons that it went shit. Just letting you know. Uh, record of Grand Crest War. I have not watched this. I'm going to watch it. Just a lot of anime in my freaking thing. After a land ruled by chaos, fearing disaster, brought about uh, about by chaos, the people live protected by lords. Those with the power of crest used to suppress the chaos. However, the Lord decides to abandon the concept of protecting the people and turn against each other, stealing each other's crest to gain dominion over one another. Among these people are Suluka, a lone mage who despised the Lord, and Theo, a vagrant uh, knight training to someday liberate his homeland, enticed by Theo's ideals. Uh, Suluka's... Uh, um, Tactics have the two forming contracting together reform and war torn land. So it's kind of interesting. Looks like it's medieval style magic and fighting, uh, going fighting one for another. It's kind of typical as well. Uh, Re life looks like something Ashley will like. Uh, it looks like it's a romance. Um, Arata Kazaki quit the job he landed after graduation in only three months. His life did not go well after that. Now his parents are threatening to stop sending money and want him to come back to the country. He has no friends or girlfriend to share his trouble with. As he hit rock bottom, a strange uh, man named Rio Yoki, Yoki appears. Yoki invites uh, Kazaki to join a society rehabilitation program for needs called Real Life. The program uses a mysterious drug to make him look younger and sends him back to high school for a year. Why? Why do you want to go back to high school for a year? Make yourself look young, that's great, but why you want to go to high school in a year? Uh, so, okay. Cut my interest. I might take a look. Let me know you guys want me to take a look at this. Uh, another one is Shonen Ashiba Go Go. Um, it says a comedy manga, Shonen, uh, Shonen Ashiba, that follows the friendship between Baby Spotted Seal. Golman Chan, a first grade student, Ashabi Ashabi, first ter um, serialized in 1988. Shit, this thing's older than me. And it added to anime in 1991. Following in a spotted seal boom this spring, Golman Chan returns to Ten Tree Anime, a cute, um, pleasant story of Ashaba and Golman Chan and their unusual school and their neighbors. Something endearing, something bizarre. It's a fun anime for the whole family. Looks like Chin Chan or Janggu in Korean. I might be actually interested in watching this. Because I actually like Chin Chan or Janggu. It's a very comedy and itchy comedy too. Uh, Spirit, uh, Spirit Pact, Bound of the Underworld. I have not watched this. Something that actually my like is Yu Yaka, uh, Kika, the hero of an old famous family. An exorcist is struggling with poverty after losing his parents and struggling as a street... Fortune teller, a part-time computer tech. One night at a junction, he meets a mysterious and charismatic exorcist, Tanoki, Tanakuki, who is fighting an evil spirit to compound his misfortune. He gets hit by a car and becomes a ghost. I saw this. 
The misfortune gets hit by a car. Yeah, I know this. We, we actually did a review on this, on the other ones. Basically, a, a kid got run over by a car and became a spirit pack with this guy. And they have a kind of a, a yaoi. You get the point I'm trying to say. Yeah, and you, you know what I'm trying to get to say. It, it's, it's, it's a very good anime. I was very surprised. I, I don't kind of like these kind of animes, but it's kind of funny as well. They go around, they come together stronger and fight against evil spirit. And they grow and learn together and one another and find out that he has the, the part one he partnered with, the exorcist, ha, is, has a fiance of a girl. And then they both don't really like each other. And the fiance is an extreme gamer and everything else. It's pretty funny. Um, but yeah, I, I watched this anime. It looks like it's, it's ongoing now. Uh, let's see here. Uh, looks like another one's going is episode 16 is Yo Manshi Pedal Glory Line. Looks like it's a sports anime and yeah, it's a team bicyclist a racing club anime. If you like to see anime of dudes, um, riding bikes, I think there's some girls in there. I can't really tell. Uh, but yeah, no, I don't like sports anime. To me, they're all crap. One of the thing that I really did not like the newest version of it is the Yu-Gi-Oh! Ravens. Uh, it's ongoing. It's up to forty nine. I watch it. It's crap. It was totally different than the original that I remember of. Um, and the GX series is totally. I don't like the GX series either. Um, yeah, they just derailed from there. It's basically, you have did you? Oh, uh, you have. Um, you basically have a monster card basically transforming within the 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 players itself. Uh, so they just basically derail from the good you go to shit. But yeah, those are the only ones uh, that are still ongoing. I will post all the links down below. Uh, please check it out and also please check out the giveaway video. The 300 giveaway video. It is going out soon. You got till Monday at 8 at night to actually uh, put the last request for the giveaway Pacific Standard Time. Well, anyhow, guys, let me know which one you guys want me to watch uh, or continue, and I'll talk to you all later. Have a great, great day, guys. Bye.